Hello guys, welcome to Husni FX channel. This is me, Abdi Husni FX mentor. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about what the algorithm is. So the algorithm is created by the IBDA or intra uh, bank. And so the intra bank is uh, the, uh, the one that delivers the price as algorithm. Basically, algorithm is a computer program that its job is to engineer liquidity in the markets by moving the price. When I say by moving the price, it is not buying and selling pressure. It means that the algorithm is not buying and selling, but only moving the price. It creates all highs and all lows. And it is where we place or sell stops or stop losses and buy stops for buy stops. And these are where the liquidity is held. Because the algorithm, it is a program that it is logic is based on human emotions and it is about the manipulation. And it is the whole, its whole job is to manipulate the price, not selling or buying pressure. When you know what the algorithm is going to do, you can predict the future price. And truly, we have to understand how does IBDA work. IBDA means the algorithm. The central banks created the algorithm, the IBDA, because they own the money. The money, I mean the community. They can set the price of that money and because they own the money and if they will decide what price of money is going to be. The algorithm is going to decide what the price of the money is going to be. So for you and me as a liquidities, we have the retail money and the retail money is actually the liquidity. They are looking to seek the liquidity. They will engineer the liquidity that is the retail money that falls into the market and that is the whole part voice of what IBDA is or what algorithm is. Note that we cannot fight with them, the banks. We cannot fight with the IBDA, the algorithm. Even if all retail trade is money put together, we can only follow them, not fight with them. So IBDA, its job is to deliver price efficiently to buyers and sellers in the marketplace. That is the job of the algorithm. So now we know what the IBDA is. We know how the IBDA works. We have to understand that there are two main ways that algorithm or IBDA does this. They the number one thing is price is rebalancing in addition to price action and this is what IBDA is doing and number two is the algorithm is seeking the liquidity which means the offset of distribution and also accumulation this is the bearing of orders they have to bear orders and this is what they do for rebalancing in efficient to price action, uh, like what I see over here, like what you see this example, for example, you can see that here we have, uh, sorry, we have, we have a price has created here uh, exactly uh, an efficient price of selling delivery so as you can see Bryce has created a low baiting orders baiting orders but finally trying to come in this area for rebalancing so this is rebalancing inefficient Bryce action so what do we see in in the charity right now we have seen that uh, Bryce move it too quickly to offer any buy side deliver sell side uh, price displacement as you can see this movement is what I'm talking about
yeah so right now we can see right here uh, that Bryce had moved it too quickly here too quickly and that quick is to over any buy side delivery this is sell side brace displacement this is all buy side inefficient price de delivery so what is the IBDA doing is IBDA or the algorithm will seek to re over buy side delivery to this buy side inefficient price delivery so number two seeking liquidity which was the uh, op offset distribution and accumulation uh, accumulation which was exactly a baiting orders so means baiting orders means we have here there are buy stops baiting here and we have a low here which is telling us that there is a selling sell stops uh, uh, ordering here so every low and every high is exactly a seeking liquidity because there are stops that are bearing below and high as a liquidity which will be a buy side and sell side liquidity so the offset of this distribution accumulation is this so let us go how does if that works in the data range so we know that we need to understand where is the high and where is the low in the last 20 days if we wanted to know where bidding orders are in a data range so we have to look for the 20 days high which will be here for example and 20 days low which will be here the 40 days high which will be here and 40 days low which will be here and total of what you see right now is identifying exactly where the high and low in the 20 days uh 50 days if if you can trade with the 20 days highs for uh, your daily range it's okay if you do not find the 20 days high look for the 40 days high if you do not get the 40 days high look for 40 days 60 days high and this is exactly where you can look for bearing orders and how the price movies from high to low and first it creates a low for example it creates a low and for that low and comes from that high and so from high to the low creates a new high and in that high you will look for bd arrays all the high rejection block uh, order blocks failure failure gap mitigation block and so on i hope this makes sense and simplifies how the algorithm works i hope you have understood a lot thank you and bye bye